The Amazon rainforest hums with life. The air is thick, heavy with humidity. Sunlight struggles to penetrate the dense canopy. Beneath the lush foliage, a sense of primeval danger lingers. We are not alone. There, amongst the tangled roots of ancient trees, something stirs. A flash of scales, the rustle of leaves, and then we see it. A monstrous head, wider than a man, emerges from the undergrowth. Its eyes, cold and ancient, fix on us. This is no ordinary serpent. This is Titanoboa, the largest snake to ever slither across the face of the earth. But this is not the Eocene epoch 56 million years ago. This is now. This is our world, one where the Titanoboa never went extinct. Today, the Amazon basin would be the Titanoboa's domain. This warm, humid environment, rich in prey and covered in dense rainforest, perfectly mirrors the conditions in which this colossal serpent thrived millions of years ago. Imagine, if you will, the mighty Amazon River, its brown waters reflecting the emerald canopy above. Beneath the surface, a dark shape glides effortlessly. The Titanoboa, a denizen of the deep, patrols its watery realm. Compared to modern-day giants like the anaconda or the reticulated python, the Titanoboa dwarfs them. While these impressive snakes can reach lengths of over 20 feet, the Titanoboa stretches to an unbelievable 50 feet or more. Its girth is equally astonishing, thicker than an oil drum, its weight exceeding that of a small car. This is a predator on a whole other level. The presence of such an apex predator would have profound implications for the delicate balance of the Amazonian ecosystem. The Titanoboa, a snake of unimaginable size, would alter the very fabric of life here. Its sheer presence would send ripples through the food chain, affecting every creature, big and small. Imagine the caiman, masters of their own domain, now wary of venturing too close to the water's edge. These formidable reptiles, once fearless, would now be on constant alert, their survival instincts heightened by the lurking danger beneath the surface. The taper, coming to the river to drink, constantly scanning for any sign of movement beneath the surface. This gentle giant, usually at ease, would now be skittish, every rustle in the water a potential threat to its life. Even the jaguar, the apex predator of the Amazon, would think twice before challenging a titanoboa for a kill. The jaguar, known for its strength and stealth, would have to reconsider its hunting strategies, avoiding areas where the titanoboa might lurk. Some species might even be driven to the brink of extinction, unable to cope with the pressure of this new super predator. The delicate balance of the ecosystem would be disrupted, with some animals unable to adapt to the new hierarchy. The capybara, the largest rodent on Earth, could see its numbers plummet as the titanoboa develops a taste for these large, relatively slow-moving creatures. The capybara, usually seen in large groups, would become a prime target, its population dwindling rapidly. The ecosystem, once a symphony of life, now dances to the rhythm of the titanoboa's hunger. The once harmonious interactions between species would be overshadowed by the constant threat of this colossal predator, reshaping the Amazon in ways unimaginable. For humans, the presence of the Titanoboa would mean living in a perpetual state of cautious respect. This massive serpent, a relic from the prehistoric era, would dominate the ecosystem, forcing humans to adapt in ways unimaginable. Imagine venturing into the rainforest, the dense foliage pressing in on all sides. The air is thick with humidity, and every step is taken with the utmost care, knowing that danger could be lurking just beyond the next tree. Every rustle of leaves, every splash in the water, could be the Titanoboa, its camouflage rendering it nearly invisible until it strikes. The jungle, once a place of exploration and discovery, would now be a realm of constant vigilance. The Amazon, once a source of sustenance and wonder, would become a place of fear. The very environment that provided life would now be a constant reminder of the lurking danger. Daily life would be irrevocably altered. Communities would need to develop new strategies for survival, from hunting and gathering to building safer homes. Settlements would be built on stilts, high above the ground, or in areas deemed too inhospitable for the Titanoboa to inhabit. Elevated homes would offer a semblance of safety, keeping families out of the serpent's reach. Fishing, a way of life for many, would become a perilous endeavor, requiring constant vigilance and new techniques to avoid attracting the attention of the serpent below. Traditional methods would be adapted, and new tools would be created to ensure safety. 
The Amazon, once a source of life, would now be seen as a threat. The balance between humans and nature would shift dramatically, with survival hinging on the ability to adapt to this new dangerous reality. Section 5. Walls of Protection Infrastructure and Defense The challenges of coexisting with Tatanaboa would necessitate innovative solutions in infrastructure and defense. Imagine entire villages encased within massive reinforced walls, designed to withstand the crushing weight of a Titanoboa's constricting coils. Homes would be built with escape routes on upper levels, accessible only by retractable ladders, providing a sanctuary from a serpent's reach. Agriculture, the backbone of any civilization, would require a complete overhaul. Fields would need to be protected by deep trenches or electrified fences, deterrents designed to keep the Titanoboa at bay. Livestock, a vital source of food, would need to be kept in heavily fortified enclosures, safe from the serpent's insatiable appetite. The very act of survival would demand a constant state of vigilance and innovation. Section 6. A Clash of Titans, Military Intervention and Technology The threat posed by Titanoboa would likely necessitate military involvement. Imagine specially trained units, armed with high-powered tranquilizer rifles and advanced tracking equipment, tasked with monitoring and controlling Titanoboa populations. Drones equipped with infrared sensors would patrol the skies, providing early warning systems for villages in the serpent's path. Technology would play a crucial role in both defense and research. Scientists would study the Titanoboa's venom, hoping to develop antivenoms and perhaps even new pharmaceuticals. Engineers would work tirelessly to create stronger, more effective barriers while geneticists might even explore the possibility of genetically engineering a smaller, less threatening subspecies of Titanoboa, one that could potentially coexist more peacefully with humans. Section 7. Fear and Domination – A Psychological Tightrope The psychological impact of living alongside Titanoboa would be profound. The constant threat of encountering such a creature would undoubtedly lead to a heightened sense of fear and anxiety. Myths and legends would spring up around the Titanoboa, painting it as a fearsome deity to be both revered and feared. Yet, adversity often breeds resilience. Humans, facing such a formidable creature, might develop an even deeper respect for the natural world. We might learn to coexist not through domination, but through understanding and adaptation. The Titanoboa, in its terrifying magnificence, could remind us of the power and unpredictability of nature, a force that demands our respect. Section 8. Coexistence or Conquest? A Question for the Ages. This is a dilemma that has puzzled humanity for centuries, and it remains as relevant today as it ever was. The question remains, could humanity truly coexist with a creature like Titanoboa? This prehistoric giant, a snake of unimaginable size, challenges our very understanding of nature's balance. Would we find a way to share the planet with such a formidable predator? Or would our fear and instinct for self-preservation inevitably lead us down a path of conflict and conquest? History has shown us that humans often react with fear and aggression when faced with large predators. Would we, as we have with so many other species throughout history, ultimately drive the Titanoboa to extinction, a testament to our own dominance over the natural world? Our track record with other species suggests a grim outcome, or could we, perhaps, learn to live in a state of uneasy truce, respecting the Titanoboa's place in the ecosystem while taking steps to ensure our own safety and survival? This would require a significant shift in our approach to wildlife conservation and a deeper understanding of the ecological roles these creatures play. The answer, as with so many things in nature, is complex and multifaceted, a testament to the intricate web of life on Earth. It calls for a balance between fear and respect, between dominance and coexistence, a balance that is delicate and ever-changing. Section 9. A World Forever Changed – The Legacy of the Titanoboa In a world where Titanoboa never went extinct, the very fabric of life, particularly in the tropics, would be forever altered. The rainforests, once teeming with life, would be forever changed by the presence of this apex predator. Humans, forced to adapt or perish, would develop new technologies, new strategies, and perhaps even a new understanding of their place in the natural order. The Titanoboa, a chilling reminder of the Earth's primeval past, 
would serve as a stark symbol of the delicate balance of nature and the enduring power of evolution. It would be a world where fear and wonder walk hand in hand, a world forever shaped by the shadow of the serpent.